Take a look back at the past week through your photos and videos. News Aid's Chris Villardi has our recap. This is how reported works. You see it, you shoot it, you send it. When a big fire broke out Wednesday morning at Clutter Farms in Ellington, we got great pictures from Dave, Christopher, and a cool panoramic from Gordon. A moving truck burst into flames on I-95 Sunday. Richard got a shot of that. Mike saw them emptying it out later. When Yale police rallied, Allison got some video. Vandals broke windows in Waterbury. Christopher took some pictures. And John was there shortly after a bank robbery in New Haven Wednesday. We got this picture from Jason, stuck on 91 Saturday, one from someone stuck on the Merritt Tuesday, and Jennifer says this truck was the reason for a big backup on 95 in West Haven Wednesday. Connecticut honored wounded warriors with a special Black Hawk visit. The Swabs checked in at the Coast Guard Academy, and Joseph graduated from Marine Boot Camp at Paris Island. Congrats also to the high school grads from Nanawa, Hill, Hand, and East Line. Time to celebrate. Speaking of celebrating, East Haven got an early start to fireworks season, which is fine with Patty and Jim's dogs. They're clearly ready for the fourth. The dogs posed, but most of the animal shots we get are candidates, like the osprey Donna spotted in Brantford, the white squirrel from Stephen Shelton, and his baby deer Glenda thinks was lost in New Haven. Julie saw a whole deer family. Richard had a turkey family in his back deck in Bethany. And Dana stayed inside after seeing several coyotes in North Haven Wednesday. Here he comes. Look at this. Mike caught a chipmunk food thief at Wadsworth Falls State Park, while Clive showed us how he rescued a raccoon stuck in a dumpster. Speaking of rescues, Lori and Torrington wanted to thank Dave for getting her cat Izzy out of a tree, and the lobsters he's holding weren't exactly rescued. They're probably dinner. Finally, the weather stayed pretty quiet this week, which allowed Jonathan to enjoy the splash park, Kristen's dog to sneak a shady nap, and us to enjoy several beautiful sunshots like these from Cheryl Ann Lee and Mike. I'm Chris Villardi, News 8.